This is episode 1715. Welcome to the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley, and I welcome you to a happy Valentine's Day. If you are living in the United States, and maybe if you're living somewhere else, you also celebrate Valentine's Day. This is a day of feeling connected to others in love. And as you think about your day today, think about what love really means to you. What provides you with that deep sense of peace You might be thinking more of love spent with a loved one today on Valentine's Day as being exciting and thrilling, but that wears off. That kind of novelty can wear off and it takes some work to cultivate it. And we have been following along with the work of C.S. Lewis from his book, The Four Loves, in this week's series. So when you think about the love in your life, you may not be romantically involved with anyone. You may have recently broken off a relationship, and so you could be feeling lonely or depressed today. Well, if you take a few moments, regardless of whether or not you're spending the day feeling connected and romantic with someone, or you are focusing on love in your life that applies to many different people, not just romantic love, you can still tap into a sense of inner peace. And when you think about feeling at peace with loved ones, it may have taken you a while to feel this sense of peace because it's more often that when we meet someone, especially someone we are interested in romantically, But also, when we meet friends or reunite with people we haven't seen in a while, there's a sense of excitement. It's thrilling. And this can be how you expect to feel pretty much all the time. And when you don't, because that kind of feeling is just not always sustainable, you'd be exhausted if you had to feel excited and thrilled when you were with loved ones. But that is often what happens. We become disappointed that we don't feel excited around loved ones all the time. That can die down. And I want to share with you the insight C.S. Lewis has to say about this. When Eros or that romantic love starts to become more of a regular human being just like you. Not the person on the pedestal you may have thought them to be. C.S. Lewis says in his book, The Four Loves, and he is talking about Eros, that romantic love, he says, can we be in this selfless liberation for a lifetime? Hardly for a week. Between the best possible lovers, this high condition is intermittent. The old self soon turns out to be not so dead as he pretended, as after a religious conversion, In either he may be momentarily knocked flat, 
he will soon be up again, if not on his feet, at least on his elbow, if not roaring, at least back to his surly grumbling or his mendicant whine. And Venus will often slip back into mere sexuality. But these lapses will not destroy a marriage or a relationship between two decent and sensible people. The couple whose relationship will certainly be endangered by them and possibly ruined are those who have idolized Eros. They thought he had the power and truthfulness of a god. They expected that mere feeling would do for them and permanently all that was necessary. When this expectation is disappointed, they throw the blame on Eros or more usually on their partners. In reality, however, Eros, having made his gigantic promise and shown you in glimpses what its performance would be like, has done his stuff. Eros, like a godparent, makes the vows. It is we who must keep them. It is we who must labor to bring our daily life into even closer accordance with what the glimpses have revealed. We must do the works of Eros when Eros is not present. So, on this day, a romantic, loving day, it is likely that you may have expectations for the day. Well, as you settle yourself down to meditate today, focus more on your inner peace, feeling more at peace with your relationships, with loved ones, with lovers, with your family, your children, friends. Feel more inner peace. When you feel this inner peace, your whole body, your whole being relaxes. And you can tap into your inner peace when you focus on your fifth chakra, which is right at your neck. It involves your throat, your voice, how you communicate with others the words you use. And it also has to do with you speaking your truth and with how others perceive you as well. So you know where the full guided meditations are on our SIP and OM meditation app, where you receive a library of over 1,700 guided meditations every single day. You can try this app for two weeks, free access to the full app, where you receive a journal and a slowdown guide with all the techniques. And you receive these tools with each week's series. Again, it's the Sip and Ohm meditation app, and it's two weeks free for you. So as you settle down to meditate, begin to relax your mind and your body. And now focus at your throat and think of how often you speak all day long, sharing your truth. You could visualize the color of indigo blue surrounding your throat or surrounding your whole body. As you share your truth, feel yourself relax into 
who you really are. Not perceptions of yourself, but who you are at your core. You could visualize your loved ones. Maybe you could even meditate with someone today. Allow your inner stillness to settle within your body and notice where it seems to settle. Offer this peace up to your loved one. Meditate for as long as you feel comfortable doing so. End your meditation on a high note. You are so worth slowing down for. 